Hello, this is going to be a very quick experiment, an example I hope, for how two users, two people can co-edit a piece of video, a piece of learning material maybe, uh, without having to be in the same room or uh, spend the amount of time they don't need to spend. So the idea is that you have your editor that just spends the time editing and doing what they do best, and then you have your production, your your say your tutor that wants to record a certain um, lesson or a, a process. They document exactly what they they want just by using whatever device they want, whether it's a flip camera or a video camera or whatever. They then upload all that raw footage to it could be YouTube or it could be the repository anywhere where the editor can download that footage. So I'm just going to the YouTube account we have at Process Arts yeah and this is our our main channel now if I was logged in here I'm not logged in at the moment I would be able to download um, these videos or if I was logged in and I went to another users video and they had selected that video with a Creative Commons license which you can do on YouTube um, you can uh, share those videos and, and um, download those videos for yourself. So that's what I would suggest about an easy way of uh, sharing the video, the raw video footage. There will be a certain amount of compression uh, as it's uploaded, but if you upload it, if you originally film your piece of uh, video footage at the highest quality you can from the start, and then upload at the highest quality you can. So we're looking at this piece of video here, which is a piece of video that I, I um, filmed with Manda a while back. We're now looking at editing this piece of video, and I've already done my edit. Now I know absolutely nothing about ceramics and slip casting, well, not a lot anyway. So, but Manda knows everything, uh, knows a lot about, that's her, her uh, profession, her specialism. So, what we need to do now is to look at this video and have the professional point of view and the specialist um, additions to this to make the video uh, make sense really. So to do that we could either s um, sit in a room together and do it together but if we haven't got time to do that or if for instance this was a a scenario where one person was in France and the other person was in um, the UK that you wouldn't be able to do that. So one way of doing this would be to, and also that would save time, is for the person who created the content to review the content as it is in its raw state um, by looking at the timeline here. So on all videos like this you have a cursor where you can scroll around the video. If you look at the bottom here you can see that it's um, got all the zeros which means it's at the very beginning and you also see here which is slightly more greyed out where it says 10.14 that's uh, showing that this video is 10 minutes and 14 seconds long. So if I hit play now you'll see that the zero starts to tick away. So what would be useful for the editor and that would save a lot of time would be for the producer or the, the, the person who's made the content of the, the video content to review this raw footage and to give some indication to the editor of what footage is useful and what footage is not and uh, where to do those cuts. So one way to do that would be to take it from the beginning and to write on a piece of paper all the zeros down, hit play and it might be, for instance, that you think the beginning section of this video is no good and that you want to cut it about there. So you say from the zeros to 31 seconds to be cut. Then you say from 0, 0, 31 seconds to we keep. And then you say from 1 minute 20 there's a little section I don't like, which is there, from 120 to 146, cut, and so on. You can then forward these um, time codes to the editor, 
where they can obviously see the same footage there and they've got the, the this edited this piece of raw the, the same piece of video in their editing software they can apply those edits really easily and then present to you the second edited version where you can then review that footage so this can all be done remotely um, and no reason to actually spend a lot of time um, sitting together in a room uh, editing together so we're going to try this as an experiment and, 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 and see what happens so once this obviously once you're happy with your edit um, that can then be uploaded to again to YouTube and can be posted onto um, well we're going to be post posting this onto Process Arts once it's uh, fully edited okay that's it Thank you.